Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to have a widget on screen which shows the player press E to interact or press F to interact or something like that so that when they are close enough to something, for example a door, it will tell them to interact and also when we do, it will look slightly different. So I'll show you what that looks like now. So in this example, it's a door. So I walk up to it, it has that on screen. I walk away, it comes off like that. And then if I press E, you can see it went a little bit darker like that just so it gives the player the impression that they have actually pressed it it's just something a little bit nicer just to make it look a lot better so i'll show you how to be doing that now so our first step is going to be to actually create this widget so to do that what we're going to do is right click go to user interface and get a widget blueprint i'm just going to call this interact prompt widget just so i know what it is like so and then open that up straight away and what I'm going to do in here is just get an image. So drag and drop an image in here. So I'm going to import this now. So if I just minimize this and I can just simply drag and drop it in and make sure that it is a PNG. Well, that's only because I have a transparent background, but have it as whatever you want. But this is what mine looks like. So like this. So this is what I'm going to be using. So you can save and close that and then put this into the image here. If you already have it selected, hit this arrow there to get it in and then scale this up to however big you want. I've decided 200 by 200 is good for me. Then what I'm going to do is just anchor it to the bottom here or wherever you want it and just move it in place like so. So I think that is going to be a good location for me. And then I'm going to get some text. So again, just drag and drop that in there. And this I'm just going to put in here, press E to interact. Obviously you can customize this however you like. This is just the basic part that I'm doing. And again, remember to anchor this down to where you want it to be so it doesn't move around. It stays in place like so. Then I'm also just going to give this an outline, which is under font, outline settings. I'll give this maybe three, just to make it stand out and make it easier for the player to read. So I think that is going to be good for my interact widget. So again, customize this however you like, but this is how I want it to look. But then how do we make it so that when we actually press E, the button goes darker, so it looks like we've actually pressed it. Well, to do that, what we're going to do is select the image here, and then just scroll down until you find a color and opacity. We're going to remember what these are now. So it's one, 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 and one. Very easy to remember. Hit this bind here. And we're going to create binding. Now what we'll do is we'll just drag this return node out a little bit and we'll also duplicate it. So control C, control V like that. And then on this top return value here, we're going to right click. We're going to promote a variable. And this one is going to be called pressed like that. And we'll just move that there. So it looks like that. And we'll right click on this other return node and the return value of that. Again, promote to variable, and this is going to be called normal. And these are variables for our different colors. So this is going to be the color of our normal and the color of when we press it. So our normal, again, we're going to compile that so we can get the default value. And like I said, to remember what the color was, if we check again, it's 1111. So I can then just put that in here. So select the normal and then change this to 1111. And now for the pressed, I just want this to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to lower these values a bit. But if you want to change it slightly differently, you can just select the color there and just move this about to get what you want and then get these RGBA values down here. So what I want is I think around 0.3. So I'll just cancel that, go back here, select the pressed again, and then get 0.3 in the red, 0.3 in the green, 0.3 in the blue, and then make sure to keep it one in the alpha as the alpha is the opacity. So unless obviously you wanted to make it more see-through, give it less opacity, change that. So we can compile and save that. And then we're gonna hold down B, left click to get a branch, plug that in there. The true is gonna go into pressed, the false will go into normal, by which I mean these colors here. And the condition, I'm gonna create a new variable of this being a Boolean, and I'm gonna call this is pressed, like that. And then drag and drop that into there, like so, with the default value of obviously false. So basically when we press the button, it's gonna change it to this. And then when we're not pressing anymore, it will then go back to the normal. So that's all we need to do in there. So we can compile, save and close that. And then we're gonna open up our door blueprint or the blueprint of which you want to be able to interact with. So for me, again, this is gonna be a door. If you don't have one, you can just get a blue, right click blueprint class, get an actor. I'm gonna open up my door. So then I already have the door opening code, which as you can see is this. So this is just to open the door here. This is where we're gonna interact with it. So if you don't have this, what you can do is with the box collision, which is where we're gonna be for this prompt to appear, what you can do is just go in the viewport up in the top left to get add component and get a box collision, which is this here, and scale this up to however big you want it to be. Again, this is where the player is going to be for it to appear on screen. And then back in the event graph, right click on that box collision in the top left, add event, and add on component, begin overlap, and end overlap, and the other actor you're going to cast to your character. 
And then what we're going to do as well up here is get our, get our interact key or your E keyboard event or anything like that. And if you don't have one, you can go to edit up in the top left, project settings, then go down to input and create an action mapping, call it interact and set it to the E key, the F key, left click, anything like that. So I'm kind of going through that bit a bit quickly as I assume you've already got it set up if you're just now here looking for the prompt. But I will also be leaving up in the top right hand corner of the screen a video of how I set up this particular blueprint for this door. But anyway, once you've done all that, what we're going to do is back down here on the begin and end overlaps. Like I said, this is where the prompt will appear and disappear. Off of the begin overlap, so out of this cast, what we're going to do is then create widget like so with the class as obviously our interact prompt widget that we just made. The return value is again, is obviously going to be add to viewport. So when we enter the box collision, it's going to put this on our screen. When we leave, we want to remove it from the screen. So to do that, we come out the return value of the create and just remove from parent, which like I say, is just essentially going to take this off our screens. So that will work perfectly like that. And then again, make sure to put these into the open and close of the gate accordingly like so. So now what this is going to do is put on and remove the widget on our screen. So I'll just comment that of add and remove prompt from screen like so. And then up here, what we're going to do is we're going to set this is pressed boolean that we made earlier. So again, come out the return value for the create widget. And we're going to drag it over here and we're going to set is pressed or whatever you name that boolean. Plug that to the pressed of the interact there. And we're going to set this to true. So tick it. Then hold down D, left click and get a delay. The duration of this, we can leave as 0.2 or however you like. This is essentially how long you want the button to be that gray out color. So the color we have for pressed, this delay is the length that will be. So I think 0.2 or 0.3 will be good for me, but customize this to how you want. Then what we're going to do is come out of the return value of the create widget again, and once again, set is pressed, plug that into the delay there, and now we're going to set this to false. So this will then go back to the normal color, and then make sure that goes back into enter. So this is the open and closed door code. So what we've done is when we walk into the box collision, it's going to put this on a screen. When we leave it, it will then remove it from the screen. And if we press it, the color is going to change to look a bit darker. So it just gives the player that more visual aspect of actually pressing the button. So that should be done. So we compile, save and close that. And then I've already got it in here, but you can drag and drop your blueprint in here. Now we can test this out. So if we hit play, we we'll walk up to it. We get that on screen, we leave, it comes off our screen. So we have that on our screen. So it says press E to interact whenever we are in the vicinity of it. Now, if I actually press it, you can see it went darker and then went back to the normal color perfectly just to give that visual aspect again of pressing it. So that works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. So we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a widget so that when we're close enough to the thing we want to interact with, it will tell us press E to interact. And it also gives us an image which darkens and changes color whether or not we are pressing the button or not. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.